Hello everyone and welcome to Medi Simplified. So in this video, we are going to discuss once again the important topics of FMG from uh, the four important subjects that is ENT, OFTA, FMT and Pediatrics. These four subjects uh, consist of 10 to 15 marks range and uh, if you do it well, uh, you can score uh, the whole marks from the subject. Uh, being clinical, uh, still you can score uh, all the marks. So let's uh, begin with it. First, we'll start with the ENT. So in ENT, uh, we'll start with the pharynx and in pharynx, the anatomy of the pharynx is very important. Then the very important topic that is nasopharyngeal carcinoma. After that, nasopharyngeal angiofibroma, a similar kind of question has been asked uh, from nasopharyngeal and angiofibroma in FMG exam since uh, four or five papers. So you should do it too. Then Quincy, after Quincy, laryngeal anatomy, and vocal cord para palsy or paralysis, congenital disease of larynx, types of thyroplasty, type 1, 2, 3, 4, in which, uh, what, what does they do? Medialization, lateralization, okay? Shortening, lengthening, and in which disease we use them. And after that, croup and epiglottitis. Acute uh, laryngotracheal bronchitis, that is true, and epiglottitis. Signs are very important in truth, and then epiglottitis is also important. Uh, the signs have been asked from this group. And once again, from the congenital disease of larynx, laryngomalacia is a very important topic. Even if you don't do the other ones, just do, uh, try to do the laryngomalacia and laryngeal TB, rhinosporidiosis, and rhinoscleroma. Uh, mostly from this topic, the question are asked like, all of the following are true about rhinosporidiosis except or all of the following are true about rhinoscleroma except. So make sure that you know each and everything about this topic. Then sinuses, anatomy and their drainage. Which sinus drains into which uh, nasal meatus, uh, that kind of thing is very important. Nasal meatus, once again, their anatomy, how they are arranged. And uh, nasal polyps, two types of nasal, uh, nasal polyps we have. For this you can watch our video. Atrophic rhinitis, uh, merciful anosmians is seen in this uh, atrophic rhinitis. Uh, so that pathology is very important. Epistaxis, always important. TSF rhinorrhea, uh, usually there is a catch in this uh, topic. Then if a very big history will be given and uh, there will be written that clear fluid coming outside from the nose. So that is usually the CSF rhinorrhea case. Axillary sinus ca cancer, once again an important topic because it is the most common cancer occurring up among the, all the sinuses. So you should go through this and for this also you can watch our video. Most common in sinuses, which is the most common sinus uh, to get uh, osteomas, which is the most common sinus for pot, pot puffy tumors, such kind of thing. Most common sinus to get cancer, such most common in sinuses is very important. And coming to ear, anatomy and physiology of ear is a very important topic. Uh, even the, uh, from the anat and physio of ear, the question has also been asked in paper one. So make sure that uh, you do this very well. Then menial disease, autosclerosis and automycosis, acute serous otitis media and CSOM, glomus tumor and acoustic neuroma. Acoustic neuroma uh, among this is very important. And tympanograms, uh, IPA, A, B, C and in A also. A, D, and A, S. So that is very important. And with which disease that graph is seen. So tympanograms is once again an important topic. External ear disorders. And the more important thing, external ear disorder is malignant otitis external. And TV, TV and benign positional uh, vertigo and para is very important. Tuning four tests are important. You should know the tuning four tests uh, because questions are being asked from that. List of an autotoxic drug. Which of the drugs is harmful for ear is an important topic and tracheostomy at last. Hearing loss levels. According to WHO, there are levels of hearing loss. That is very important, which has been asked sometimes in exams and you can expect in the upcoming examples. Now talking about ophthalmology, uh, once again, a very important topic. In last exam, uh, 19 questions were asked from ophthalmology. So you can expect a very good marks if you <clears throat> complete this subject. It's not a very big deal to finish ophthalmology also. So in ophthalmology, once again, anatomy of the eye is very important. Then ocular muscles and yolk muscles. Yolk muscles is that the two muscles are working together in opposite direction, uh, working, uh, doing the same movement, but uh, they are working in opposite direction. That is yolk muscles, which is very important. And equals outflow, which is very important for knowing the basics of uh, glaucoma-like diseases. Then ocular physiology. 
charts for testing vision there are different charts snell snell and chart and uh, different kinds of charts which have been asked and also the images of these charts are important you can be given the image and identify which kind of chart is this or this chart is used for what purpose so that thing is very important and color blindness all the three types of color blindness is important cataract a very important topic then ectopia lentis and associate it with uh, also uh, pathology then uveitis and uveitis also uh, there are three uveitis anterior posterior and pan so very importantly we should know the images of this uveitis layers of retina <coughs> very important then diabetic retinopathy as diabetes india is a diabetic capital so you can expect any question from diabetes so diabetic retinopathy is very important uh rop that is retinopathy of prematurity in the premature babies there is a retinopathy which is known as retinopathy of prematurity it is very important topic and it is also covered in pediatrics <clears throat> then crvo and crvo that is central retinal vein occlusion and central retinal artery occlusion it is also very important and usually images and signs from this topic is been asked sympathetic ophthalmitis then refraction and related disorders that is myopia hypermetropia and astigmatism it is a very important topic and every year in from this topic the questions are been asked and dark room procedure including <coughs> direct ophthalmoscopy distant direct ophthalmoscopy indirect ophthalmoscopy and retinoscopy in this question in this thing the distance has been asked usually from what distance uh, this procedure is done and uh, how the images are formed if you do direct or distant direct or indirect ophthalmoscopy so that is very important glaucoma and it is a very important topic from uh, ophthalmology anti glaucoma drugs separately i am mentioning because question can be asked in ophthalmology also and from pharma also anti glaucoma drugs is a very important topic so you should cover it in ophthalmology then ornal syndrome visual pathways and related anopias okay and in this also images are important like uh, bilateral hemianopia temporal hemianopia pi in the sky pi in the flow such kind of disorders uh, related with visual pathways is very important squint that is strabismus once again very important layers of tear and related disorder tear uh, film has three layers and each layers uh, if there is def deficiency in any layer that is a related disorder which is very important to know then vitamin a deficiency erythelmia and other stages and trachoma is very important then conjunctival degeneration and the images is very important and corneal ulcer once again a very important topic three types of four types of corneal ulcer and their images and their signs and what kind of hypopionic scene that is important in keratoconus once again a very important topic and images has been asked from this topic also now talking about forensic medicine in forensic medicine first of all you should know all the ipcs and crpcs after that forensic psychiatry macnaughton's rule and uh, related uh, questions are very important in scene If, uh, what is the rule for insanes so that is very important and sexual perver perversion is important rape is a very important topic <clears throat> medical negligence you are a doctor and if you do any kind of negligence so what kind of punishment you can get so this uh, things are very important to know then burn it is also covered in uh, surgery and also for in forensic medicine so you should uh, do in forensic medicine so, so that the burden in surgery is decreased then post mortem types and techniques then what are the post mortem changes that is very important blood stain and semen tests or semen analysis and which kind of test is done which is better one which is best that kind of question has been asked on this topic that is a very important topic definition of death and related questions then hanging and its type judicial hanging suicidal hanging homicidal hanging and its if what are the changes seen after this hangings that is important then types of bullet is important in ballistic whether you do anything or not but you should know all the types of bullet then identification identification is a very vast topic but you should cover it then euthanasia that is legal illegal uh, euthanasia in which country it is uh, legal in which country it is illegal that kind of thing is important then consent is very important toxicology is a very is a very big part of forensic medicine and toxicology but every time three to four question has been asked so you should complete it too now talking about pediatrics in pediatrics first of all all the definition low birth baby term baby pre term baby post term baby such kind of all the definitions related to the newborns are important neonatology as a whole is a very important topic 
then talking about difference in term and preterm babies it is important normal findings in the newborn is important neonatal reflexes every time a question has been asked from neonatal reflexes when it is uh, first time appear when it disappears this question from neonatal reflexes is uh, important every notes you can find some of the table related to neonatal reflex so you should do it neonatal resuscitation and abga score abga score is very important topic you should do it also in surgery but you should cover in pediatrics itself now rds and sids that is respiratory distress syndrome and sudden infant death syndrome is an important topic usually uh, from sudden infant death syndrome a uh, case kind of thing is given and you find the baby uh, died in the cot itself so that kind of thing is asked every day congenital diaphragmatic hernia it is a very important topic two type of uh, congenital diaphragmatic hernia is seen and related thing is very important and uh, neonatal jaundice a very important topic normal growth and related disorder what what is the and the growth starts is also important then milestone you can expect a question from milestone in every exam whether it is fmg whether it is neat pg or any other uh, central examination so milestone is a very important topic nutrition and malnutrition in children what are the normal nutrition requirement in the children and if there are malnourished then what kind of disease occur this is important topic then meningitis very important topic glomerular disease you have already covered in patho so it will be very easy to uh, cover in uh, pediatrics also and diarrhea very important topic genetics once again you covered in pathology you just need to cover revise it in the pediatrics and pubertal disorder pubertal disorder you usually do in obgyna but if you can do it in pediatrics itself if the teacher is teaching that will be well and good then at last the heart disorder that is synotic and asynotic disease <clears throat> and the signs which kind of sign is seen in which synotic which is in heart is related congenital heart related disease is very important and you can cover in those signs in radiology itself but you should know the pathology and the, all the physiology related to heart disorders Uh, in children uh, from the pediatric subject so that was all about important topic from ent ophthalmology and ophthalmology and forensic medicine and pediatrics so thanks for watching the video hope you liked it please like share and subscribe my channel medi simplified thank you